Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. On this channel, you know that I share with you weekly channeling that comes from famous dead people. And why do we talk to dead people in the afterlife? Famous ones, no doubt. Because they give the best advice. They have incredible insight about our human life. And we tend to listen to them because it's interesting, right? It's interesting. All right, so this particular video is actually not a channeling session. It will be a little bit of a question and answer. I got this incredible question, which I thought was hilarious. I actually laughed out loud as I was reading it. And I thought, this is perfect, and it's a legitimate question, so I wanted to answer it. So what is the question? Well, I do read my YouTube comments. Yeah, I know there's some nasty ones on there, you guys. Just ignore that. Okay, don't pay attention to the nasty ones. But there's some really insightful value added comments. And so for those of you who are leaving those comments and the kind ones, thank you. That's really sweet. And I totally read them. So here's the question. There was a question that was asked about spirit in the afterlife because I describe them. So how I see them, right? And the question was, do they wear clothes? Like, why do they wear clothes? And do they have wardrobe changes or how does that work? And that I thought that's a great question. And I it was so funny because as soon as I read that comment, instantly Prince appeared to me. And if you watched my stuff, you know that all this afterlife channeling of celebrities started with Prince in the afterlife a couple of years ago when he decided to become full spirit. He's the one that opened all this up to for me to channel famous celebrities. I wasn't channeling celebrities before. I was just doing private sessions as a medium. No big deal. Now it's like all these famous dead people, which is fascinating. But Prince shows up as I'm reading this comment and he's like, and he answers because Bridget doesn't want to see me naked. And you know what? He's right. I have no desire to see anybody with in that kind of setup scenario, especially in the afterlife. Like, I don't need that. All right. <laughs> so to answer so in all serious, okay, in all seriousness, you guys, this is a good question because they don't have bodies. If a spirit doesn't have a body, they don't need a body. Why do they have clothes? Why do they need clothes? They don't need clothes. They don't need a body. They don't need clothes. So why do they show up visually for me in that way? Because that's what's familiar to me. In order to relate, to be able to translate and be relatable, they show up in the way that we are going to be able to receive them. And so for me, when I see, for example, my friend Prince in the afterlife, he usually looks really nicely put together. And sometimes he'll look um, according to different genres, depending upon what topics we might talk about. If he, look, if he looks a little funky, you know, he's ready to kind of jam, he's got the afro going and the 70s kind of look, because sometimes he shows up that way, then that, that kind of helps me, it's an indicator to me, what kind of vibration, the energy or the messages that's going to be coming through or if he shows up very neat and tidy in his suit and with his hair all tucked back and really short and neatly very neatly groomed and maybe with some glasses on he means business he might want to talk to me about my business because he likes to give he's got a lot of he, he's got a lot of guts when it comes to other people's businesses <laughs> let me just say so when he's trying to give me some business advice he might look like that you know so it's just, it's part of the energy. So it is kind of like a costume, to answer your question. It is kind of like a costume. And it tells me, it tells me, gives me clues as to what context, what vibration, what kind of energy we're going to be talking about, or what, it, it sets the tone, or it just reiterates. Um, clothing color, the color of clothing, like purple and such, for example, would be a prince color for me. It would give me a sense that that's who I'm talking to. Or if somebody else shows up and they're wearing a purple, like sports coat or something, afterlife celeb in session, they might be paying respects to Prince because they know that Prince is the reason why I'm even interviewing celebrities in the first place, because he's the one that I was just crazy enough to be open to and created this incredible, just, opportunity for me to do channeling, you know? And so color is very symbolic. I've talked about it in my work. You guys have to know, I want you to know that although you're finding me at Above Life Channel and you're seeing me as kind of this, 
you know, in the last two years, maybe this person that's just started doing channeling in the last two years. I have been doing psychic work for over 14 years at the time of this video. I've been a psychic and a medium for a very long time. And the public channeling of famous dead people was something that I stayed away from because I thought that seemed a little crazy, like ambulance chasing or something. So no disrespect to other people, but I, it just wasn't really for me. It wasn't really, I never saw myself doing that. And now I recognize that there's so much value to be shared and so much incredible insights that afterlife celebrities can bring to us as a whole humanity where we will listen. We will listen to them. And they have some kind of credibility with us. So, so the clothing thing, speaking of credibility, gives them some credibility, I think. <laughs> and it helps to give, to provide information, additional information as to what the topic is, what the tone is, what the energy is. So pay attention. If you are having visits and your dreams from, from celebrities or from loved ones who are totally in spirit form now, then pay attention to what they're dressed like. Maybe they'll come dressed in a suit or a tux if a, uh, there's a wedding upcoming. Maybe they're dressed in their Sunday attire because they're attending a baptism for someone in the family, for example. Pay attention. Pay attention to what they're wearing because it could give you additional information about what the messages they're trying to convey. All right. So this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. I hope this video has um, has helped you a bit. I thought it was a great question. It's like, I'm thinking naked spirits. Hmm. Yeah, not really. <laughs> they need to be wearing clothes. That's, that's, that's the requirement for me to be able to channel them. Oh my goodness. Great question. See, I do read my comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a new weekly channeling video. Thanks for watching.